ever wonder how a digestive system works? By the way, let's define first what is a digestive system. The digestive system is a group of organs working together to convert food into energy and basic nutrients to feed the entire body. Food passes through a long tube inside the body known as the alimentary canal or the gastrointestinal tract. Digestion, food is then changed by the organ into a soluble form to be absorbed by the body. Food in the mouth is mixed with saliva. Saliva begins to dissolve of the food as the teeth part then cut it. Food is forced back into the throat to pharynx with the tongue. Food in the pharynx stimulates the swallowing reflex. The larynx is pulled upward to meet the upper glottis and seal of the trachea. Food goes down of the pharynx to the esophagus. Food moves down the esophagus by peristalsis. The peristaltic waves reaches the esophageal sphincter and food enters the stomach. The unique muscular structure of the stomach breaks up the food into small pieces called chyme. Chyme exits to the pyloric sphincter into the duodenum of the small intestine. The major portion of absorption and digestion occurs in the small intestine. The mucosa secrete enzymes and supplement the digestive enzyme at the pancreas and liver. These complete the chemical process of digestion. The walls are covered with phyllite, bring nutrient absorption takes place. The structure of each phyllos contains capillary and lacteal to pick up the digested nutrients. The nutrients are now transported by the blood towards the cells of the body. The undigested food reaches the ileocecal valve and enters the large intestine or colon. The colon absorbs water, manufactures vitamins, produces mucus, and forms and expels feces. Mass peristalsis pushes the feces into the rectum, which stimulates the defecation reflex. Wait, wait, parts. Nature is calling. Constipation Constipation is defined medically as fewer than 3 stools per week and severe constipation as less than 1 stool per week. Some of the symptoms of constipation include lower abdominal discomfort, infrequent bowel movements, and straining to have a bowel movement. Is your digestive tract irritable? Do you have stomach pain or discomfort at least three times a month for several months? It could be irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, another common digestive condition. The treatment of symptoms largely on diet, such as avoiding common trigger foods like dairy products, alcohol, caffeine, artificial sweeteners, and beans, cabbage, and other foods that produce gas or following a low-fat diet that's also high in fiber. Friendly bacteria such as the probiotics found in yogurt may also help you feel better. Ulcer A stomach or gastric ulcer is a break in the tissue lining the stomach. 
The term peptic ulcer refers to those that occur in either the stomach or the first part of the small intestine that bleeds out of the stomach, called the duodenum. Gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. When stomach acid backs up into your esophagus, a condition called acid reflux, you may feel a burning pain in the middle of your chest. It often occurs after meals or at night. While it's common for people to experience acid reflux and heartburn once in a while, having symptoms that affect your daily life or occur at least twice each week could be a sign of GERD. The human respiratory system is a series of organs responsible for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. The primary organs of the respiratory system are lungs, which carry out this exchange of gases as we Respiratory system moves air to the nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, and bronchioles to be overlined with the gas exchange between the oxygen and carbon dioxide. Nerves are the offerings to the nose. The nasal cavity is lined with cilia, mucous membranes, and blood capillaries. The air is filtered by the cilia moistened by the mucous membranes and warmed by the blood. Air moves into the pharynx or tube. The common passageway for food and air. Air continues onto the larynx. The epiglottis to plug tissue in front of the larynx. Closes off the larynx when swallowing the forbidden food from entering. The larynx or the voice box contains the vocal fold. The trachea or windpipe connects the larynx to the bronchial tree. The cartilage ring of the trachea prevent the trachea from collapsing. Lungs are spongy tissue with alveoli and blood capillaries. Weight encouraged because the expansion and contraction of the lungs. The bronchi carrying the air subdivide into smaller branches called bronchioles. At the end of each bronchioles are the alveolar sacs. Alveolar sacs are surrounded by blood capillaries and contain millions of single layer alveoli cells. Where the gas exchange takes oxygenated air goes from the nose to the pharynx to the larynx, trachea, Bronchioles and alveoli, by the process of perfusion, oxygen and the air moves in the alveoli to the capillaries. Carbon dioxide moves in the capillaries to the alveoli as the exhale. The process is called respiration. Gas exchange. Gas exchange is the process by which oxygen and carbon dioxide, the respiratory gases, move in opposite directions across an organism's respiratory movements between the air or water of the external environment and the body fluids of the interval environment. There are common diseases affecting in our respiratory system. First is asthma, a chronic inflammation of the lung airways that causes coughing, wheezing, chest tightness, or shortness of breath. These signs or symptoms may be worse when a person is exposed to their triggers, which can be include air pollution, tobacco smoke, perfume, cleaning solvents, infections, pollens, cold air, chemical, and etc. The second one diseases in our respiratory system is pneumonia, inflammation and consolidation of the lung tissue as a result of infection, inhalation of foreign particles or irrigation. Many organisms, including viruses and fungi, can cause pneumonia, but the most common causes are bacteria, in particular species of streptococcus and mycoplasma. The third one diseases affecting in our respiratory system is tuberculosis, infection disease that is caused by the tubercle bacillus, mycobacterium tuberculosis, 
In most forms of this disease, the bacillus spreads slowly and widely in the lungs, causing the formation of hard nodules or large cheese-like masses that break down the respiratory tissues and form cavities in the lungs. Blood vessels also can be eroded.